Welcome to our program entitled Dr. Steve Blake's Natural Approach to Osteoarthritis, Part 1 of 2. Dr. Blake, a vegan, has a doctorate in holistic health specializing in nutritional biochemistry as well as naturopathic medicine. Currently, he is the research director at the Neuroscience Nutrition Foundation in Haiku, Hawaii, USA, and lead advisor for the Gale Encyclopedia of Alternative Medicine. He has taught classes at the University of Hawaii on Maui, Stanford University in California, and the Boston University Medical Center in Massachusetts. Dr. Blake is the author of Healing Medicine and the reference book, Fats and Oils Demystified, as well as many other significant publications, such as Arthritis Relief, how nutrition can help with pain and inflammation. We are honored that he shared his time and expertise with us on the subject of preventing and treating arthritis. To get started, let's find out from Dr. Blake what causes arthritis and how common the condition is in the U.S. Arthritis is the gradual wearing away of cartilage in the joints between the bones. Normally our bones have cartilage on the ends and then they're bathed in synovial fluid so our joints work freely and without any damage. But sometimes, especially in older people, the cartilage can start wearing away. This can cause pain and inflammation and eventually lead to disability and deformed joints. Arthritis occurs in about 68 million Americans. And by far the most prevalent kind is osteoarthritis. A very small percentage of arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis, which is a very different disease, but yet, also, the problems are inflammation and pain. When people are 65 years of age or older, about half of them tend to have osteoarthritis. I think that with a good natural approach, a nutritional approach, we can lower this number and help people who already have arthritis. Arthritis sufferers typically take pills to cope with the pain. Such medication may reduce the discomfort and inflammation, but does not stop the progression of the disease. Not only that, drugs can have severe unwanted side effects. We asked Dr. Blake to describe the conventional medical approach to treating arthritis. One good thing that modern medicine does is use physical therapy to keep the joints working. The more you can move the joints within the limits of pain and range of motion, the better it is. Of course, we need to move the joints gently and without damaging the cartilage. Doctors also use drugs, and the drugs normally are aspirin-like drugs called NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Unfortunately, these type of drugs lead to stomach ulcerations and intestinal perforations and cause about 40,000 deaths per year and 70,000 hospitalizations. So these drugs, while helpful for the pain, are potentially damaging. If the natural approach can reduce the need for pain drugs, then we'll be helping people's health. Other drugs that are used are drugs such as acetaminophen, often bought under the brand name Tylenol. This can potentially stop the pain, but it can also potentially damage the liver. So we need to be very careful how much we take of acetaminophen. Now there's a newer class of drugs called COX-2 inhibitors, this refers to the cyclooxygenase that causes the pain and inflammation in the body. These COX-2 inhibitors like Vioxx has already been removed from the market because of a huge amount of heart attacks attributed to its use. Hips and knees are weight-bearing joints that are commonly affected by osteoarthritis. It is easy to imagine how someone who's overweight will be putting extra pressure in these joints and damaging the cartilage. Dr. Blake spoke to us about this issue. One of the best things we can do for hip or knee arthritis is to lose a little bit of weight. The lighter we are, the less damage there is to the joints. So my easy way to lose weight is to eat a quarter of your diet as fresh fruits. This is a delicious and easy way to lose weight. A half of the diet could be fresh vegetables. And then we fill in the diet with whole grains and beans so that we feel satisfied and get enough calories for the day. I do want to mention that we need a handful of nuts and seeds to provide that very important vitamin E that helps with inflammation in the joints. We'll pause here for a brief intermission and a positive message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.
Welcome back to Dr. Steve Blake's Natural Approach to Osteoarthritis, Part 1 of 2. Many people have heard of omega-3 fatty acids, especially if they're trying to reduce inflammation in their body. In addition to being effective for arthritis, omega-3s have been shown to improve heart health and brain function, as well as prevent or control type 2 diabetes. We wanted to know what Dr. Blake had to say about these nutrients. Omega-3s are very important fatty acids because we have a balance in our bodies. We have the omega-3s, which tend to quench inflammation, and the omega-6s, which increase inflammation and pain. So we need a good balance between the omega-3s and the omega-6s. Now, some foods, such as oils, bottled oils, except perhaps soybean and canola oil, have a great deal of omega-6 of the plant-based form called linoleic acid, but very little of the omega-3s. So by avoiding or using as little as possible of bottled oils when we cook, for instance, or as salad dressings, we can really help this balance to get more omega-3s and less omega-6s. When it comes to increasing our omega-3 fatty acid intake, it is helpful to understand the three types of omega-3s that our bodies need, namely ALA, EPA, and DHA. Our system cannot synthesize ALA, so we must get it from plant sources like seeds. Our bodies can produce EPA and DHA from ALA. EPA powerfully quenches inflammation in the body. Now we make EPA in our bodies and we should make EPA in our bodies. We make it from the plant-based omega-3 alpha linolenic acid. This is found especially in flax seeds and in walnuts. So if we can put powdered flax seeds in our diets or walnuts in our diets each day, then this will provide the raw materials to make EPA in our bodies. A persistent myth is that fish oil is a good source of omega-3s, and some take it for the purported cardiovascular benefits. However, recent research analyzing nearly 80 clinical trials concluded that taking fish oil supplements for omega-3s did not better heart health. Dr. Blake highlighted reasons to avoid this animal product. One study showed that 91% of fish oil capsules were rancid coming out of the factory. More, of course, will go rancid. They're very delicate during storage and transportation. Another reason not to eat fish oils is because of the pollution. There are dioxins, polychlorinated biphenols, mercury, and many other pollutants that fish tend to bioaccumulate in their journey through the oceans these days. And then, of course, there's compassion for our dwindling fish in the ocean. And if we could just let them be, they could grow back. The best approach to arthritis is to make sure you're getting your omega-3s, the plant-based omega-3s. Those are the really important ones. So get enough flax seeds ground up and enough walnuts in your diet and try to keep the omega-6s down. Researchers have noted that certain free radicals tend to bring about arthritic inflammation and tissue destruction. We asked Dr. Blake if dietary antioxidants could offer any relief. The process of arthritis involves the joints being damaged by free radicals. There are many sources, such as advanced glycation end products causing more free radical damage. And also when the cartilage is damaged by injury, if it's brittle cartilage and not springy and soft, these little pieces of broken off cartilage can cause inflammation. And our inflammatory reaction to inflammation involves free radical damage. So it has been shown in many studies that vitamin C and vitamin E and the carotenoids like beta carotene are very powerful in alleviating the pain and inflammation in arthritis. We are privileged and grateful that Dr. Blake allowed us to interview him. Please join us again next week on Saturday, June 22nd for part two of Dr. Steve Blake's Natural Approach to Osteoarthritis when we will learn more about the prevention and treatment of this condition. For more information about Dr. Blake and his book, Arthritis Relief, please visit drsteveblake.com forward slash arthritisbook.html. Thank you, delightful viewers, for your company on today's program. 